has not been what they thought. He's was. cramp. I think he's. I think he's like tied for third in in overall carries. That's why the, he was drafted in the Iowa there's State all, there's, in the third round. There's also something to be said about the rhythm of the offense, the effectiveness of your quarterback, the, the blocking key. up front. So yeah, we'll Plus see. Key. Montgomery could be good. We'll just see if they make a few adjustments. Ronald Jones or Montgomery at flex? Ooh, who's Tampa facing this week? They got, uh, we just talked about it. New Orleans. They got the Jags. And oh. we just saw what Derrick Henry did to him. Man, that is tough. Yeah, I actually kind of like Jones. <laughs> just say Derrick Henry just ran a train all over that defense. And not just a train, the D train. Is Montgomery somebody at this point, uh, Dylan? You think about dropping then? No, uh, he's a, you know at this, especially at this point in the season, I'm starting not running back. Advice from you, Dave. <laughs> We're frenemies this week. No. We're always frenemies. I mean, any starting running back, especially this at this week, point in the season, is because I want to win. <laughs> what was that, Dylan? Sorry, I got I got excited. Dave got me ignited. No, just saying, especially at this point in the season, just about any starting running back is gold. I mean, it's, they're hard to come by. I mean, just look at how coveted a, a guy like Bo Scarborough would be right now by someone who's hurting a running back. So. Oh! Oh! Hey, you mean Bo a guy knows. We'll pick him up? Bo knows. Well, not that Bo, but different Bo. Bo knows. knows like Scarborough goes. Hey, speaking of broadcast teams, I just saw Joe <laughs> Buck a Caucasian Dylan, Jay-Z. We have to, I, you know what I'm buying you for Christmas? I'm buying you one of these. You see this right here? Look at this. It's got this fancy, fancy little built-in stand here so that when you're on with us, your phone doesn't do the slide and you look like you're trying to do the mime walking down a set of stairs. Yeah, I just I like the height of where I have it. It's I just got to get you know the stability. Dylan, uh, he might ask you to charge extra shipping for the Canadian international shipping rate. I'm not surprised. I'm not in freaking Canada. You're gonna fail. It sure does say hustle. Because you not cannot fail figure out. Your, yes, you get to fail horn and the wrong bustle. both together. Oh, you mean oh, you mean geography? You mean the 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 the, the what is it? The what is you it? Mean Jay? The triangle. There you go. I know what it is. I'm just copying you. No, you're not, because you would have said the Tundra Circle first. No, no, God, no! How dare you? As we're we're burning the midnight oil here. All right, burn anyway, it. We got to move on because we haven't even got the power rankings. Burn it. Get get to your last thing here so we can take a break. Get to power rankings because we still got to do our Thanksgiving thankfulness for fantasy and football things. We got to pick the Thursday night game. And we got to do the few I questions I have written for freaking Final Drive. And we got an, uh, 57 minutes left to airtime before they kick us off. Let's go. We can do it. All right, real quick. I mean, some obvious names here at Starch. We got Pat Mahomes versus Oakland. Drew Brees at Atlanta. Your boy, A-Rod, at New York Giants. Looking to rebound in a big way. At running back, we've got Christian McCaffrey taking on the Redskins at home. Dalvin Cook in that Monday night matchup at Seattle. And then Ezekiel Elliott taking on the Buffalo Bills, who can be run on and will be run on by the Cowboys. At wide receiver, no surprise here, Michael Thomas at Atlanta. If Tyreek Hill is fully healthy, which keep your eyes on him. He's a great matchup versus Oakland. And then the immortal one, Chris God. Jacksonville is another great play this week. Uh, also like DJ Moore versus Washington. In this nice. sick category... We have David Montgomery, the aforementioned. I do think, you know, in spite of Detroit being so vulnerable on defense, there's just some super clunkiness and some real, uh, I don't know, it's it's tough to say what's going on in Chicago. If you're anyone but Allen Robinson, it's just not going to happen for you on a weekly basis. Carlos Hyde versus New England's another bad play. I think that he's going to get game script out. And then Tevin Coleman at Baltimore, another bad play. Uh, Jimmy G, another bad play. You got to sit him at quarterback. Phillip Rivers, I don't like his matchup at Denver at all. And then you tell me, guys. I mean, if you have Deshaun Watson, 
versus New England this week. Are you looking to pivot, or are you going to ride the lightning? And, D, you got to face this with Hopkins, so we're going to talk about him as well. Yeah, I was looking at that. I mean, can you ever bench Hopkins? Amari Cooper just put up a goose egg. Yeah, but that's Amari Cooper. Hopkins, I consider the best in the league. True that. Well, I don't know. Well, I, I would I would do it. I think I'm going to stick with Hop because, I mean, I don't care how good Stephon Gilmore is. We saw how, what is it? We saw, what was it? Was it last year or the year before that? No, it was last year when Houston took New England to the brink and D-Hop was just killing them. And that was against Gilmore. Yeah. So, I don't think saying. you can ever bench Hopkins and. Probably the same goes for Watson. I mean, I don't think you're going to find too many. I mean, we we talked about the waiver wire quarterbacks. I mean, if you're going to tell me you want Kyle Allen over Deshaun Watson, that's tough. I mean, Jared Goff at Arizona, you're braver than I am because I would still be wanting to see what Watson can do. And, you know, especially because Lamar Jackson did have success. And do, do the Texans run the same offense as the Ravens? No. But can a mobile quarterback get some fantasy production versus the Patriots. Yes. Um, finishing up the, uh, the sits at wide receiver guys. I don't like Emmanuel Sanders at Baltimore at all. And um, boy, I don't think you have to sit Amari Cooper because it is what it is for your team. He's likely a wide receiver one, but after what he just did versus new England, uh, now he's got to face her Davis white. We'll see how that matches up. All right, Jay. You're going to the break, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap it up with the power rankings. Well, that's not wrapping it up. That's we got all kinds well, of stuff I, too after that. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I love it when you do that. And if you haven't had enough of our banter tonight, you want to visit NFL Addictions on Facebook.com for all of your NFL banter and chatter. It's not a trash talk site, so keep it clean and keep it cordial. That's NFL Addictions on Facebook.com. And if you still got an itch to scratch when you're done with that, you want to visit Raz Addictions on Facebook.com for their version of the raffle for all kinds of cool prizes, even a chance at winning some cash. You buy a $10 raffle ticket for a chance at winning $100. That's a chance at making 10 times your money. It don't get any better than that. That's Raz Addictions on Facebook.com for a chance at all kinds of cool prizes. Tell them what you've won, Dave. I've won everything from tailgating barbecue sets that I have a Packers one that I won, folks, for $400. I put $40 down on the spot. I won it, and it was out of 20 spots. It's really worth it. I've also won helmets that are signed. I've won banners that are signed. I've won memorabilia rings. I've won footballs that are signed and other Packers knickknacks because that's my team. But go ahead and check them out. Cheap, affordable prices for certified, authentic stuff. That's Raz Addictions on Facebook.com. Go there, play, and win. And as always, you can follow us on Twitter at First and Goal Pod, myself at UPJ33. Dave is at Steak and Cheese, and the Fantasy Wonder himself, Dylan, at Dylan Busby1. Email us at First and Goal Podcast at Yahoo.com with all your football and Packer questions and comments, and you just might find yourself making the show live. That's first and goal podcast at yahoo.com. All right. We are back. You can't take the Eagles defense because I already put a waiver claim on it. (laughs) I purposely mentioned them so I can get my other team. Oh, we're about to have a we're about to have a bid off. Guess what? I well, I don't have any money to bid. I already put a waiver claim on those guys, too. All the top defenses, I put a waiver claim on for a dollar, so you can't get them. Oh, You don't harsh. have any space on your bench to do it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it will it, does, pre- it will prevent you to go from it, and they will, it will negate whatever you're doing. The algorithm will deny you. An opportunity. I promise you. And you I don't, dropped everybody on me just to do that. I'll drop them all because I'll just repick my guys back up. How many guesses do I get at the 32nd team? 
<laughs> I hate oh, you. So not many? You know who it is. That's mean. Go to your corner. Oh, Dylan. I had faith in you for a while. Just not anymore. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. <clears throat> okay, so Dave, we need to do these in uh, five at a time. Five at a time. <laughs> we go through this every week. You want to do four, and then we end up in this awkward thing at the bottom of the top 20 before we get in the top 10. We're running off seven of them. If we just do five at a time, it's an even number. It gets us to our top 20. It's just, okay, just roll with me here. Hold on a second. One second. I need to bring it up. I got my list. Hold Dylan, on. Did you hear the big news about Dave earlier while he's doing that? There's no news. Yeah, he did. There's news. Dave is Yeah, he told start, me he's gonna start writing again. There we go. What do you mean he told what did he tell you? Like, oh it was obviously some different I, information. So what did he tell you that he's not sharing? I didn't sharing tell with him me? anything. Told me that he was late and I ought to prepare for the worst. <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> he's right though, I did tell him that. Damn. So you and your wife are going to have another kid, Dave? Is that what you're saying? Hell no. I'm snipped. If my wife's pregnant, we've got to fucking talk to him. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Damn. He, like, just went in there and just told his manhood, like, you're done. Goodbye. I got snipped. It's a lot easier to get done for me and be back up on my feet in one to two days and my wife being out for three weeks if she gets it done. You are an officer and a gentleman. Uh, I'll pay is, is, either because that doesn't why, require. Why, why, my question is, is why is that necessary at all? Like, don't you guys love each other? You just put it in God's hands. We do. No, because if we have any more <laughs> kids, it's going to look like we're raising an Aryan third right nation. Ask Dylan. All my kids are little toe heads. It looks like Hitler's dream in my house. <laughs> this I is true. 31, or th- start at 32, like you're supposed to. Uh, no, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> don't, don't do this right now. Don't do what? Don't do it. Ugh. Are you not done? What? Do it. What? No, not that. Why, why am I seeing Dylan's chest? <laughs> I think Dylan's trying to leave our show right now. I know. I think he is, too. I'm trying to find my goddamn Junior Mints. Junior Mints? <laughs> what is this, Seinfeld? In... Are you getting out paper right now? Oh, how dare you have paper. That is my thing. I can't grab a sheet of scrap paper no. <laughs> that I bought with my own money. <laughs> damn it. Why can't you read it? That's my other question. You keep staring at it like an old man with bicycle. Because I don't, I only have, I only have light in one section of the man cave. That's why. That you have a lighting issue. Clearly, you need to fix. I do. I really do. All right. I'm ready for um for power rankings whenever you are, buddy. I've I was just writing ready. down some We're different waiting pipettes. on you. Dylan oh yeah. Sideshow, Dylan sideshow over here trying to show us his freaking his manhood is like getting a little ridiculous and he's distracting, w- but he's on live jasmine for uh, webcam. He is eating junior mints. He wasn't shitting us. That's no, he's an old soul. He probably has butter toffee candies in his freaking candy bowl in his front dish. One question, Dylan. Do you have Werther's? I love Werther's. Oh, boy. Do you play shuffleboard weekly? At the All right, let's go. We're, we're burning daylight. We got 45 minutes. There's no more the daylight here. nighttime. Yeah. Anyways, 30. Um, no, screw it. Let's do this by 10. Ready? Go for ready, it. Ready, ready. I don't know if I can keep right. up counting that many. 30, uh, I'm not surprised at uh, awesome Michigan location you're at. Um, I would, 30, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. It's not Canada. 